Well, in many rural counties of Mississippi, it's factories, plants, and warehouses, many that have probably been built many years ago and more than likely contain chemicals and heavy hot machinery. With the real possibility of a large fire, volunteer firefighters must always be prepared. Our Victoria, Victoria Bailey takes a look at how these departments get ready and train to fight those large structural fires. There are more factories in the Magnolia State than you can count on two hands, and for that reason, volunteer fire departments must be ready to battle any blaze. We normally train, um, we try to train at least twice, twice a month, um, and then we, we try to do some cross-training with other districts and other departments. So when that time does come, that we'll be well prepared. Fire is fire, so we train to uh, be safe and to save as much property as we can. If we don't have the proper equipment, if we don't have the right manpower or water, we call mutual aid, and that gets us other agencies en route. Last month, Pontotoc County's Washington Furniture caught fire. Two weeks ago, Lowndes County Trim Joyce plant burned. And Saturday, American Furniture in Pontotoc burned for the second time in less than a year. Northeast Clay County Volunteer Fire Chief Tory Williams says it's a learning experience when fires like that reach a certain magnitude. Is that no, no two fires are the same. So you have to apply everything that you learned, at, even at structure fires or your commercial fires. You have to apply basically what you what you've learned from the others. Um, it's more of a trial and error. Type deal. Usually, volunteer firefighters work a full time job. Lowndes County Fire Coordinator Neil Austin says when the volunteers work in these buildings, it puts them at a great advantage. The more familiar we are with buildings, uh, especially if we have somebody on the department that works at a facility, um, gives us insight to the floor plan, the layout, where the hazards are. Um, we also get those by doing factory tours, um, doing in, um, fire safety inspections and uh, just general walkthroughs, knowing our community that we serve. Victoria Bailey, WCBI News, Lowndes County. Now the Northeast Clay County Volunteer Fire Department, they'll be having some training or a drill next Thursday.